Hello there, YouTube. Edward Silva here. Uh, I know <clears throat> for some who may be wondering, yeah, I did not do a a pregame type prediction video this time around, mainly because I really wasn't in the mood for it. But I thought I'd do a quick post game thoughts about <clears throat> about. Most of the game, mainly the game I just saw, which was the Sunday night game here today on September 14th of 2014 with the Bears visiting the San Francisco 49ers in their new stadium named Levi Stadium. And man, was that a shocker. I mean, that literally was a shocker. 49ers... Go up 17 nothing in the first, basically throughout most of the first half up until the last two minutes of the first half. And then Chicago ends up outscoring 28 to 3 in the second half, which, Ugh. excuse me, is very shocking. And the fact that they had a lot of Chicago had a lot of injuries and yet they still won the game. Makes me believe that's possible Chicago will win the may win the division. Well, their division at the end of the regular season. But again, it's still early, but I am going to make a bold prediction for the 49ers. I think that their new stadium is going to end up being their curse. I think they're going to end up being winless in their new stadium this year. And they will probably end up having a losing record this year. But again, it's still early. They're 1-1, so they could turn it around, but they, they need to turn it around quickly. Uh, other game, since I have the time, I might as well men mention some other games I saw. The Giants versus it was the early game was the Giants versus the Cardinals with the Cardinals using their backup because their starting quarterback was hurt and yet the Cardinals end up getting a win <clears throat> and then the Jets Packers game don't even get me started on that. Like seriously, that Jets game, how does the offensive coordinator, I think that was the offensive coordinator, end up calling timeout when only the coach from the sideline can call timeout? Like seriously, that that was messed up. But anyway, let me get back to the 49ers and Bears game. Like seriously, Kaepernick ended up having four turnovers, three that he threw and one that he fumbled. Like seriously, Kaepernick, you, you need to work on the fumbling issues. Man. And, oh man, the games were still good. It's just the fact that they were tainted with all the, the news going on this week with all the players that that were in trouble with the law and then with Roger Goodell, you know, in the Ray Rice scandal, oh, I guess for lack of scandal. Oh man. I'll probably discuss more about that on it, but in case you're wondering, this week was not a good week for the NFL with first the Ray Rice video popping out. Oh, with first Ray the incident with Ray Russ and his and his now wife getting suspended two games, and then NFL the commissioner the NFL became stricter on their rules, and then the video pops up, and then Rice gets suspended indefinitely, and then there's the Adrian Peterson incident. <clears throat> 
Although to be honest, I think that one will probably blow over because that was way long ago. I I don't know why that that's popping up now. It and then from the 49ers side, McDonald's, I, I kind of forgot his first name, is involved, but he has not been charged yet, so he was allowed to play today. Oh man, this is... But, you know, I'll probably mention more about that in another video that I plan to do regarding this matter. But anyway, for now, I'll... I'll end the video here on on a happy note and say at least all the games were pretty good. And that about wraps up week two with the exception of the Eagles versus the Colts game, which unfortunately I will not be able to cover. But hopefully I do get to see the results. Anyway, that's gonna do it. That's pretty much gonna do it here for this little uh post game thought. Uh, yeah, interesting week this week. But anyway, I'm Edward Silva, and the next post game will be will be after the Steelers versus Panthers game next Sunday night. So till then, I will see you hopefully soon.